What's up guys, welcome back to Infinite Undiscovery. This time we're going to uh, finally be entering the Dragonbone Shrine, which is going to be our first dungeon. And we're going to actually focus on completing the optional quest that we actually um, got in Nolan. And we'll find uh, some of those in the Dragonbone Shrine, so we're going to be heading towards this way under the arch. The Dragonbone Shrine, there we go. This is the only area we haven't explored in Nolan yet. And right over here is the entrance. Okay, now the first thing I want to I want to mention is um, you see that I do have the iron sword equipped, um, or the long sword actually. I'm kind of uh, contemplating whether or not I want to use that in this dungeon. It the attack rating is 195. It kind of makes the uh, mission seem you know quite uh, less challenging. So to give myself a, a, a little bit more of a challenge, I probably want to equip the Blazing Sword just to you know show off the combos and stuff like that. And I just don't want to make it too easy. <laughs> so uh, we can definitely equip the Iron Sword afterwards, though, for sure. So the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we outfit um, Riku and Rucha in some new equipment because we got some uh, new equipment from um, when we stole them from yeah, Eugene and all those other guys before. Um, See, so we can equip the bark robe. Now, now um, basically Riku and Rucha uh, equip the same thing, so you kind of have to choose which um, character you're going to um, you know use more of. Well, you're going to use both of them, but you have to choose kind of which character you want you know the highest defense on. So I would say, let's see, let's look at their skills for a minute here. Let's connect. Penguin Parade and Bolts. Uh, I would say Rucha because she uses um, a summon ability. And she also uses Arrow Wave. And then later on you'll also get Pyros too, which is a fire elemental ability. So I would say um, she is the one that needs the most uh, defense right now. So we're going to equip all of these. The Bark Robe. That granite circlet and the Lauren sandals. And that'll give her quite a boost in uh, defense and stuff like that. All right, there we go. All right, let's head on out now. We're all set. We got a couple of uh, cooking items to use too. And here it is, the Dragonbone Train. Yeah, what the hell's back there? Oh, just a nothing. Wait, there's a path over here. I gotta check this out for a second. Oh, it's another door. Huh. I wonder where that goes. That's strange. Alright, it kind of looks like it goes into the Dragon Mode Shrine. Maybe it's the exit to the Dragon Mode Shrine. After you um, beat that dungeon. Alright, so here we are. Alright, so now this is basically um, the essential um, way of battling in the game. Um, you start um, bringing out your weapons. And uh, this mission is definitely heavily going to focus on more party management. We really haven't had a chance to really um, use any of the party management skills or anything in the game. Because we've been with Capel kind of you know, solo from the last previous missions. So this mission is going to be quite different. We're going to be able to use Riku and Rucha's um, connect skills. Ready to go? And they become quite handy. Volt is a pretty good one. Uh, an elemental ability that you want to use right off the bat. You know what to do. It's a pretty nice skill to use. You don't want to um, burn up too much MP though, because uh, there is a boss in this dungeon. So you gotta keep that in mind. This is our first dungeon, actual first real dungeon in the game, so. Alright, so now, let's see here. Oh yeah, this is the rubble right here that you have to actually um, target. Somebody dug this up. So that's basically um, the continuation of the one quest that we got in uh, Nolan. I kind of wish there was like a quest blog where you can actually look at all the quests on your on your game, but there isn't. So, just kind of have to remember. Okay, now I just saw a few mice here. 
Let's see there. Oh, there's Toothy and Cheddar. Let's talk to these guys. A little bit ago, I saw a monstrous ogre and his friends going deeper inside the temple. They didn't look very friendly, evil and scary. The atmosphere here feels very strange compared to normal, so stale and sticky. Yuck. Sorely, it seems weird, too. I don't like it one bit. Okay. And Cheddar. You're a big human, but you can understand us. Strange. Well, I tell you what, I'll tell you on a... I'll let you in on a little secret. Bats can attack even if it's dark. Look out for them. They can be very scary. Okay. So that kind of gives... Okay, so here we are. We're entering a dark room. I don't like the I don't like the looks of this. You have to watch our step. I got the volume kind of turned down, but um, the characters actually talk amongst each other as you're playing the game. All right, so that didn't. Oh gosh, a whole bunch of bats. Okay, where the hell are they at? Oh crap! Oh shit! They're attacking. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the light so I can see, because I can't see a damn thing, it's so dark in here. Alright, there we go. And there they all are, right there. Just totally getting pummeled. Alright, so let's do this. Let's get some and I would actually use the focus um, for uh, the strategy. Because uh, anything that compel targets, um, your other characters will target as well. This is also a good opportunity to use, um, try to juggle enemies. Um, I, um, the, what, the, the skill that I like to use is the, um, what's it called? Yeah, Crescendo Spike. It actually, uh, you know, so you could juggle them a little bit at times. There's actually an achievement for that, too, if you actually juggle them 20 times. Which, it'll be a lot easier, though, as you get further in the game, so don't worry about that. I'm doing pretty good right here. <laughs> ah, I did it. And, um, these enemies are pretty easy. Whoa, Rucha just got killed? Are you serious? Holy crap. Wow. Okay, well, the other thing you want to do is you want to hit triangle. Because that'll heal your, um, allies. Riku, as you can see, just healed Rucha. Thanks. All right. So I am by no means an expert in this game. This is, you know, pretty much about as far as I've been in the game, and I'm just starting to learn the ropes of it, pretty much. But it's a fun game. I like I like the party skills, and I like the combat system, and all that. So. You can always fill in the maps at a later time. I'm just, you know, kind of scouring around. All right, so let's go north now, I think. Is there anything else we have to get? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't believe this is where your first chest is, right over here. Oh, we got a snake now. Kill Thorn Cobra. Now, yeah, you can actually use your slashing cannon skill, your battle skill, but I would not use it too many times because it will burn up your MP. Unless it's absolutely necessary. This next area right up here is, a, is like a den's nest with a whole bunch of snakes, so it's quite a difficult battle. Before we do that, we want to go over here and get this chest. That's the first chest. Let's see if there's anything over here. It's like dark in here, but you can't see anything. I wonder if there's anything over here. Hmm. I just know there's something over here. <laughs> so I'll find out later. Alright, now for this, this is really difficult. What you want to do is you want to try to get an enemy advantage. I'm going to try to do that. See if I can equip with uh, Ruka. Yeah, Ruka. Oh, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon the arrow wave, and then I'm also going to use the Eternal Nog. That's basically um, Rucha's summon ability, which will help us out tremendously. And before we do this, I think I'm actually going to um, eat one of these uh, um, fruits. Because it gives you, see how it says party effect right there? That actually um, gives you a, like a, a boost to your um, statistics for all of your characters as a party effect. So it'll help you out, you know, quite a bit in battle. So I'm probably going to try to just, let's see, store a little HP and MP. Yeah, I'll try the veggie socks since I got three of them. So I just equipped, or I just um, used that on whoever. Let's see, uh, Riku. Yay! See, now it gave a party effect to everybody. So now that we have that, let's start off with oh. the arrow wave. And that'll give us a... Uh, Whoops. Okay, you gotta remember that the the um, environment in this game also, um, you know, is part of the battle system. If you like, if if there's a rock in the way of the enemies, and you're trying to aim for the enemy, it will actually, um, you know, hit the rock and not the enemy. So that's another st um, thing you have to keep in mind. So you have to be careful about that. Come on. Let's try it again. Arrow wave. No. Nope. Damn it. I gotta get very close here. You know what to do. Try it again. Now I'm on the edge right here. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, connecting with uh, Riku. I'm gonna try using the Volt. The Volt's probably better. Yeah, the Volt's better because it's um, lightning. There we go. Okay, now how come I didn't get an enemy advantage? That was kind of strange. All right, so now I'm gonna um, summon the Penguin Parade. This will be really cool. It's actually like a little dragon that helps you out. I'm not paying a parade. The turn on Nog is what I want to summon. Oh crap. Who's just getting murdered, man? What the hell? Maybe I, maybe I should have equipped that equipment on uh, Riku instead. Jesus. If you're really good at parrying, that's actually a good skill to use, but it takes timing, you know, like that. Well, I'm definitely going to have to use it. Um... Boy, this is a hard battle. Shit. I got an antidote po poison on me. Well, let's see if I can get, um, Rucha. Okay, summon. There she goes. Now watch, this little dragon will come out. There we go. Now he'll help us out. See, he can blow like fire and stuff. It's pretty cool. Well, I gotta get rid of this. There we go. Okay, I took care of him. Now I definitely gotta heal myself. Jeez. Someone, please treat them. Someone. Normally, all you gotta do is just, you know, hit triangle, or not triangle, but a Y. Keep hitting Y, and you know it'll uh, treat all your characters. You know, if your uh, characters have the available build, available uh, skills for like uh, carrying status effects and healing your party members, then you'll get treated that way. Right. That was a hard battle. That's actually probably the hardest um, battle in here, besides the boss. Okay, so where does this go? I think this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, I don't want to go that way yet. I want to go uh, this way. Because I think there's something right. Yeah, there's something over here. We can't actually get it yet, but it's another one of those cracked rocks. And behind it is another one of those chests. So we'll have to come back to it at a later time when we get that character. We'll get that one and the one at Grad Woods as well. So here we are. Now we're moving on. And okay, right up here is I think another one of the mouses. Yep, this is Scamper. 
And this guy actually uh, tells you about a secret inside the. Oops, I gotta connect to Riku. Okay, this temple has a secret room. I'm not gonna tell you or anyone else where it is though, because it's a secret. I think I might tell Miss Sawari where it is nice. Or since I like her, really like her. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so it's apparent that this mouse has some kind of a love connection with another mice. So you have to uh, find Sawari to access the hidden secret room. All right. <clears throat> You know, I think I'm gonna actually, um, let's see. Rucha. I'm gonna equip all this on Rico instead. There you go, maybe that might help out. I don't know why Rucha is getting killed so easily, jeez. Oh, and if you notice that you see the attack up and defense up, INT up and all that hit up, that's basically um, a party enhancement. Like when you have, um, it's a special party enhancement when you have like Riku and Rucha in the same party member, they get a special bonus like that, which is kind of cool. That'll happen with certain characters in the game. All right, now this actually right here, I remember before from playing like years ago. <laughs> This is actually a trap. It'll actually uh, summon a whole bunch of bats, but might as well do it so we can get some EXP. These guys are not too difficult to kill. They're pretty easy compared to those damn snakes. So now we got level 3 for uh, Riku. So that's a little bit better. Alright. Okay, yeah, we gotta go this way. I could have used my iron sword, but... I went through this place before with the, with the iron sword. Or not the iron sword, but the... What's it called? Uh... Yeah, longsword. I went through this place before with the longsword, and I just absolutely decimated the enemy. I mean, totally destroyed him. I couldn't even pull off any combos or anything. <laughs> so it was a little bit too easy, but anyways. Okay, here's Sawari. You gotta talk to her. Oh, are you looking for the secret room? Scamper is always talking about this place. Look for Scamper. He knows. He will show you if you bring up my name. He loves me and would do anything for me. Okay. So we, now we gotta go back to uh, Scamper. But I will say, before we do that, um, I'm actually going to go down here first. Because actually this place is dark. And um, when we, um, when we uh, go back to talk to Scamper, he actually goes past this area. So what we want to do first is we want to go inside here and complete this little uh, dark area first. Finish, it th finish off the enemies in here. It would be a lot easier that way. Oops. There we go. Okay, now we uh, summon them. There's only three of them this time, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Use Volt. Volt actually works pretty well. It stuns them and stuff. That worked a lot easier. There we go. Took care of those guys. Okay, now there's two more over here, so let's use Volt. Nice. Not too bad. Okay, there's a little couple of uh, bats to kill. Get back here. 
Where the hell are you going, man? Where's he going? <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here, man. He like just disappear? No, he's right over there. Oh, he's heading me into a trap. Freak. Okay, I ain't gonna do that right now. I'm gonna get, uh... Actually, wait, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go get Scamper now. So yeah, we do have to go this way, unfortunately. Uh, equip Ready to go? Someone that, um, or not. Wait. That was the wrong button. You know what to do. There we go. This will help us out quite a bit. Having this little dragon. Now he's white. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, here they come. Okay, that took care of that. Okay, and the dragon's still there, too. See, he stays with you unless you uh, release him. It's pretty cool. Is that other... Uh, okay, so we want to go up here. Here's Scamper. And this guy actually runs pretty quick. But now that we've uh, um, cleared out all the enemies, we can uh, just follow them. Whoops. Thanks. Next time, I'll you a snack. I'm your man. Okay, what? Miss Roy asked for me to help? Oh, I tell her anything she wants to know. Follow me so I can show you. Alright, here we go. Hey, there he is. Scurrying along. See, now we can actually just follow him directly not to worry about the enemies in this little area because we just completed this uh, room and he'll take you right to the secret passage oh wow there's actually more enemies in this room they look pretty tough. two snakes that's it Okay, that was great. I got uh, another level up. Rucha. Alright, take care of those guys. Alright, now there is uh, one more thing that I wanted to check. Let's see what the hell's over here. Oh, that was just where Sorori was. Okay. Check all these areas to see if there's anything that I'm missing here in this um, room. I don't think so, so let's just go down here. We should be able to meet Scamper right over here somewhere. All right, yep, here he is, right over here. We have to kill these uh, bats. And there's actually a den of snakes again. Damn it. Crap. All right, so let's connect to Ruka. Bring forth the dragon. Just a little bit of help there. There we go. Battles are starting to get a little bit easier now because we got uh, stronger characters. Thanks. Next time I'm gonna make you a snack. All right, so here we are finally. He's right. Oops. Oh please. He's right here. Or at least I think he's here. Where the hell's he at? Maybe that's not where he's at. Hmm. Let's see. I don't 
don't see anything over there. Okay, I think we have to go a little bit further. Oh boy, another... Okay, this area is like almost... The, I think this is like the last cavern before the boss. So yeah. Alright, so let's try to get a... You know what to do. Enemy advantage on this guy. In this fight. There we go. Makes things so much easier when you get enemy advantages. Yeah, this is the last cavern before the boss, but there's a few more things we have to do. Okay. Okay, first thing is right over here, this is where Scamper is, right here. And this is where the secret entrance is, secret area. Here's the entrance. Make sure you don't tell anyone. It's a secret. Well, it wasn't until I told you anyway. Okay. Here we go. Now inside this room there's like three chests. Oh, and you also get a situation bonus, which is pretty cool. Found the secret room, a thousand EXP bonus. That should give us some level ups. Yep, definitely. So level five, um, and level four. And I also learned cutting Kavat, which is a very useful battle skill for Capel. Yeah, let's, let's examine these three treasure chests. Miraculous medicine. Uh, musician's Quill. I, mean, I have no idea what that is, but we'll find out later, I guess. And Blackberry Potion. Alright, so the Blackberry Potion is definitely very useful. It could, um, heals your MP. So now, there's one more hidden object in here. If you look very closely, this is actually the, um, the mouse that we've been trying to find for the quest way back at Nolan. You gotta find him here. He's, uh, he's like right here somewhere. Hidden in the grass. He's like green. Here he is right here. Snouty. Remember Snouty? This is where he is right here. This is part of that quest. Take me back home. Show him the way. Yes. Let me hitch a ride in your pocket. Alright. So essentially when we go back, when we get back to Nolan after we complete the uh, Dragonbone Shrine and we talk to that spirited kid, we'll uh, Finish that quest. Alright, so now there's only one last thing to do in this dungeon and then we're uh, then we're done. Then we can um, fight the boss. So here we go. Here's the altar. And there's the big double doors right there. Alright, now this area um, is where you have to offer, do some offerings for the door before it opens. And you'll find out right now. Black wings and poisonous fangs. So it shows you the monsters right there that you have to use as the offerings. So it says, I demand black wings, poisonous fangs. Now this is actually really easy if you do about it correctly. I went before I uh, went back and ended up killing the enemies in the first cavern and I ended up going all the way back and trying to uh, bring them back here. And it's a lot more difficult that way. So anyways, this is where the penguin parade comes in, in place. So we want to connect to Riku. The penguin parade is actually a pretty useful skill. It actually... Um, uh, charms the enemy to where he's on your side. You can basically use him um, to. You can control him and take him anywhere you want. He can actually attack for you and stuff. But that's essentially what we have to use right now. 
So you want, when you first come to the, towards the first enemy in this cavern, you want to use Penguin Parade. Watch, this is how it works. See, now he's charmed. So now, now he can follow you back to the door. And that would be the first offering. And there we go, an offering of black wings. So now we got to do the same thing with the snake. The snake's a little bit more difficult because it moves slower. But it's a lot, uh, so much easier to do this if you're doing this in the first cavern right here, right by the altar. If you're going all the way back towards the snake dens and stuff, it becomes so much more difficult. You don't want to do that. Alright, so let's uh, get this snake now. There we go. Yeah, I, I actually did it before. I actually had to all, go all the way back to the caverns when, and I had like a swarm of snakes following me and you can only control one guy at a time. You can't control like multiple enemies with this skill. And I had to keep redoing it because it wears off after, you know, so long. Here he comes right up the steps. It'll probably wear off right now, so you gotta use it again. They're getting away. I don't think so. Come back here. Got him. <laughs> I love that skill. Alright. Talk to the door. And there we go. Second offering. Now essentially we can go fight the boss, but before we do that, I'm actually going to uh, uh, grind just a little bit. I'm going to get Rucha to level 4 at least, instead of level 3. Which, you know, shouldn't be that uh, far off. Let's see. Sure. EXP, yeah, she only needs 123 EXP for next level. That should be like couple battles and that's it. Next room, how to do it. Oh, yeah, right in here. So let's try to get an enemy target um, or enemy advantage if we can. Oh, actually, no, damn it. This bat's caught me. Oh, well. We should get it after this. Yep, there we go. Level up. And that will help out a lot. There we go. Now let's head back in. Whoops, we got one more guy to kill. Alright, there we go. So we should be all good. So let's head on back now. We just mainly need to heal our MP for this fight. You know what to do. All right, that's it. All right, so 
before we get ready for this boss, we're going to use a couple of items here. First of all, let's, uh, let's see, what does this do? Restores a little MP party effect. Uh, let's use the veggie salad again. There we go, that'll give us a little bit of a party effect. And we also want to heal our MP. Let's see that blackberry potions right here. So we want Ruchu to have good MP. Riku and Capel. There we go, that should be good. Probably too much of them, but uh, that should be fine. And last but not least, let's see. I, I'm almost contemplating or not if I should use the long sword, but I'm just gonna use the blazing sword. It's a little bit more of a challenge that way. Now, the first thing you want to note before entering this boss battle is you have to face off against not only the big ogre that's inside, but there's also the um, a dragon that spits all these fireballs at you, and that's actually Cerulius. But he um, um, does a lot of damage, so you want to keep on the move. And the, the, one, one of the strategies that I like to use is uh, Penguin Parade with Rucha, because he'll come um, with uh, actually two Thorn Cobras. You want to take those guys out first, then go after the big ogre. So here we go. Let's get this started. Ah! Rucha, I'm on my way! Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Who's there? Ramberg. Ramberg. Why are you so mean? <sighs> Me get Sigmund. Me lucky. How could you do this? <laughs> Me kill Sigmund! Listen, I'm not... I'm not Sigmund! Sigmund lie! Me not stupid! Look, I may not be Sigmund, but... I'll still make you pay for this! Alright, one thing I did forget is I forgot to summon the um, dragon. That would have actually helped us out a little bit. I'm going to try to do that, but I'm, first I'm going to um, use a penguin parade on the snake, so here we go. Whoops, not on him, not on him. Let's work on him. Penguin parade on one of the snakes so we can get him, um, so we can uh, only have to fight one of them. Yeah, see, there's the fireballs. You have to keep on the move for those. Those things can really decimate your party. Come on, damn it! Come on. Parade. Got him. All right, now we can just take care of this one snake right here. You don't want to hold back. You want to use all your combos. Okay, there we go. Take care of this guy. He's dead. All right, now all we got left is the ogre, so we can focus on just the ogre. So now what we want to do is we want to, um, next time. I'm going to try to, uh, see he's actually slow so you actually have time. Wait, how did those guys get resummoned again, damn it? Oh, crap. Oh no, that's the other snake. I got to finish him off first, I almost forgot. Okay, there we go. Now, now we got the ogre just by himself, so it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, I'm going to watch out for the dragon, though. Keep our heels up. Now, uh, let me think. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to equip or connect with Riku and use Penguin Parade if I possibly can. Bring him out. Not Penguin Parade, damn it. God damn it, I keep screwing up. I want to use the turn on, turn on Og. The summon. There we go. Bring him out. That'll help a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go after him. Oh wait, actually, you know, there's one thing I forgot to equip. Damn it, I almost forgot before the battle. I gotta do this now, mid-battle. The cutting cavat will help us out a lot. 
because it does a lot of damage. Now there is a really awesome, amazing strategy for defeating this boss. If you're good, you can actually use um, um, uh, a parry attack against him. I definitely need to heal. Shit. Riku's almost dead. They're healing each other back there. All right, now I'm gonna try to time this. See if you actually parry his attack, you can actually stun him and really um, pull on the combos on him. I'm gonna try this. Whoops! Damn it! Help the injured. There we go. Come on, hit me. Oh, I missed. Got him. No, I didn't get him. Damn it! Takes a little bit of practice, but he's not too difficult of a boss. But it's a good way of practicing your uh, your uh, parries and stuff. Right, I'm just gonna go after him. Focus attention. There we go. Come on, stay off of, stay off the twins. The battle is mine, bitch. Got. Oh man, I almost got him. Damn it. Come on. Damn. The timing is just terrible on this. Try it one more time. Oh my goodness. Someone, please treat them. Thanks. I just cannot do this. Shit. Comes the damn fire noise. I could have already killed him by now. I'm just trying to f do, um, finish him off doing this um, strategy, using the strategy. Now he's already dead. Fuck it. You have freed me. I am most grateful. Rocco, my friend and humble servant, for my sake, you have suffered greatly. It's not your fault, Cerulius. It's the Order's fault. Rico. Rucha. So, young man. You are called Capel. Uh, Take this with you. What is it? An Amalista, a crystal which holds my power. It will heal your companion. Huh? How do you know about Aya? You know everything. I can't believe it. You're lucky. It's a great honor to get an Amalista. Dad said so. There is someone out there distorting the moon's power. However, my duty is to protect this land. I cannot abandon it. Take this with you. Through this fruit, I shall see the world with your eyes. You shall have my support. Your foes shall be my foes as well. Seeing the world, foes? I don't know. Please, you have to listen to him. But I... I know you're not a hero. Cerulea said your name's Capel. It wasn't an alias. So why? Please. 
please, for our dad. If I have to. Okay, so now we got the ability to use the flutes. And we can finally uh, use these to good use now. So it says press X to play the flute. The tune you wish to play can be changed with the directional buttons left or right. You can assign tunes in the flute menu. The flute's effect depends on the tune being played. Some tunes increase the party's stats, while others have astonishing effects such as neutralizing magic. You can learn new tunes by finding musical scores. Alright. So obtain the Sarlis Armalista and obtain the Sarlis flute. Learn the pro... Prudentine tune and learn the Presapire tune. Alright, so we got two new um, tunes that we can use uh, on the flute. So everybody's healing each other now, as you can see. Look after that battle. Yep. It's kind of an automatic thing. Thanks. I like how the party does that too, is you know they're autom auto they automatically heal each other. Alright, so let's go to equipment. And that a battle was actually not exactly as I intended it to be. I was just trying to uh, Use the you know parry skill because you can actually um, um, parry um, the boss battle the, or the enemy and actually literally knock him knock his ass down and it gives you like it stuns him and you can like really pull on the damage to him but it ended up it didn't really work out that well so anyways let's go to flute so you can see right here a song which shares the sight of Sirlis enabling hidden objects to be seen so we can at last use the fruit or the flute to see some uh, hidden objects. And this one creates an area canceling lunacle effects. We won't be using that right away. That's for a battle. So now, and when you push the left and right directional buttons, you can change the different flute flutes you have to use. So this is the one. Okay, I think, yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, so around this area, there's a hidden path that will take us back to Nolan. We gotta find that. Somewhere around here. I might as well fill in the map here while I'm here, so this is the last cavern. And this dungeon essentially is kind of a small dungeon. There's going to be um, dungeons in the game later on that are just much, much larger. This is almost like a tutorial dungeon. Alright, so I think it's back here. Yep. Yeah, it's right here. So you can see the wavy pattern, like the distortion in the air. You play your flute. And it reveals a hidden passageway. So now we can head back to Nolan. This will take us back to Nolan. Alright, now here's a chest that we can get. One more chest. This is the Members of a Mage. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'll have to uh, look at that later. But there actually is a hidden chest that's right here, I believe. Yeah, you can see how the see how the um, the wavy patterns in the um, terrain and stuff. So you want to play your flute right here. There's another chest that appears right there. It's a hidden one, and that'll give us another miraculous medicine. So now we're done. Now we just have to exit through these uh, doors. And I was right. This is actually is the back entrance. It takes us right back out to the cave. Or right back out to Nolan. Alright, so now we're back in the town. Now there's one more thing I want to do before I uh, turn the video off for now. Um, there's a hidden chest in Nolan that you can actually get. And I might as well get that right now since I have the flute ability. And you'll actually find that, I think, like right over here somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, if you actually play it right under this cave. 
Oh, and you'll notice this dog follows you around too. We'll get to that on, on the next video, but he's actually uh, awaiting for the, um, the side quest to be... Yeah, right here is the chest. Hidden chest right here. We're gonna get that. And that's a bronze ring, so we're gonna equip that right away. On Capel. And that's our first real good actual useful accessory, should I say. <laughs> get rid of these damn hopeless charms. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we're not gonna talk to anybody right now. I'm just actually gonna go straight to save. I'm gonna turn the video off for now. And in the next video, we're going to focus on uh, completing some optional tasks or, you know, completing the side quest that we got in the, that we finished in the Dragon Bone Shrine and also picking up some new optional tasks as well. So uh, that's it for today and I'll see you guys uh, next time.